Dimitri Bivol versus Jaya Opatai is now a potential fight if Bivol defeats Archer Betterbeef. Now, who will actually win this fight? Well, let's look at their latest performances in which Dimitri Bivol fought Gilberto Ramirez, in which they both started off very slow until Bivol picked it up. And Gilberto Ramirez cannot handle and cannot defend Bivol's combinations, especially in rounds eight and nine. <laughs> In which in the end, Bivol won by decision. After this, Bivol went on to fight Landon Arthur, in which he completely destroyed Landon Arthur in this fight, in which he even dropped him in round 11. And won by decision. Dimitri Bivol! Now let's talk about Jai's latest performances, in which he fought Jordan Thompson, in which Jai dropped Jordan in round 3. <laughs> And then TKO'd him in round four. And after this, Jai went on to fight Elizoro, in which he knocked him out in round one. Too fast. Back on. Oh, big shot. Now, this fight can only happen if Bibble fights and beats Better BF because Bibble, in an interview, stated that he's trying to focus on the Better BF fight, and people are over here distracting him, asking him if he's going to go up in cruiserweight, in which he said he's not there yet. And in that same interview, he actually said that Turkey Alashi came up to him and Jai Opatia and looked at them both and said, Would you guys like to make a fight? In which Bibble gave him the same response, in which he said he wants to become undisputed first and then he'll go up in cruiserweight. But when talking about both fighters and when talking about how this fight will go, it's kind of interesting because you got Dimitri Bibble, who has 22 wins with 11 KOs, while Jayo Patea has 24 wins and 19 KOs, and both are undefeated. But here's where Bivol might have some problems, and that is because he is the smaller guy who's going to have to move up in weight. But like I said, when looking at the records on paper, Jayo Patea does beat Dimitri Bivol. But in the end, the winner of this fight could go either way, since Bivol is a very smart boxer with a lot of punch output, so his skills could outweigh the fact that he's going to have to go up in weight. But at the same time, we already seen how bad a boxer can perform, even with all his skills, when he goes up in weight to fight a dangerous opponent who normally fights at that weight. A good example was when Canelo went up in weight to fight Dimitri Bivol.